right? Because you talked about business too, right? And it's like, uh, I think you're, you're talking about the, the first company, the company that you had worked for, and then having that, that boss that, uh, <laughs> that, uh, you, you kind of got off on the wrong foot with, and then realizing, Hey, you know, the reality is like, it doesn't matter how good of a worker you are, like, you know, power, power, power dynamics are important. And, um, yeah, that's where I re learned the lesson that companies will hire slow, but fire fast. Like when they have the opportunity to get you off the books, you're gone. Yeah. They don't. And I had, I had just bought my first home, um, maybe three weeks before they packaged me off. They knew it. I mean, cause I had to have a letter from yeah. my bank to get the mortgage and all that sort of stuff. And I'm like, you guys just don't give a shit. You know, it was just, you know, they called you down to HR on the seventh floor because we occupied actually three three stories on this building. It was a large building. You know, they pulled you down to the executive offices, right? And there's a lawyer across the table with the HR uh, guy with the vice president. And they just slide an envelope across the table. And they're like, here, take this sign and get the fuck out of here. And I was just like, what? You know, I've given you guys the last like five and a half years building your business up, doing everything right, training all your people. Just because this prick over here doesn't like me, I'm gone. Okay, cool. I'm out of here. See ya. Yeah. But that and, and that I think that's a good parallel to, you know, just how women will, will treat you like, like yeah. guys don't realize that. And and just how life I mean, people don't really give a fuck about you like, you know, they, they really don't like people will pretend like they do. But but really, they're worried about themselves. They're not worried about you and your future. It doesn't matter if you bought a, a new house and you have a mortgage payment or any of those things. Right. It's like you have to look out for yourself. And I think so many guys are trapped into believing that because they put in they've been loyal, that people will be loyal to them. Yeah, they've put the equity into it. Like a lot of guys believe in relationship equity, like they'll put equity into the marriage. They'll go and renovate the kitchen and the ensuite bathroom upstairs and they'll move to the neighborhood that's close to her mom's house. And, you know, you can go right down the list of all the shit that guys do for women. And only seven years later, they find out she's porking Kevin from sales and she's leaving him and the four kids. Um, you know, it happens. There's a, um, there's a meme that I saw at one point, you know, to the point of, um, you know, people don't give a fuck. And there's two parts to it. It's like a cartoon. And the first one's, you know, got a picture of this, like, you know, guy where he's all bummed down. He's like, people don't care about me. Nobody gives a fuck. And then the other one, you know, below that is like, nobody fucking cares. And it's like, right. you know, you can look at it either way. You know, yeah. it's on which side of the fence do you want to lean on? You know, do you want to be the sucky poo, you know, doomer? Or do you want to be like the nobody cares? So cool. You know, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. See, I, I, yeah, that's, I've, I've seen that meme before and I, and I love that because it's like, you know, I talk to guys all the time about like starting a YouTube channel or starting a business in there and they're like, Oh, well, well you know, people will, I, I can't speak really well or, or I, you know, I don't think I could. And I'm like, it doesn't matter. No one cares about you. Like, just do it. Like you can just yeah. do whatever you, you want to do. And I think so many people are, are afraid of what other people will think. And that's what, what stops them. Yeah. I mean, like the older you get, I mean, you're pretty close to my age, but you probably started to realize by now, if not, you know, years ago that nobody really cares about you. Like nobody really spends that much time thinking about you. Yeah. I don't anyway. I mean, I, I give very few fucks, you know, as far as my opinion and my energy about what I think of other people. It's like, I'll get these DMS and these messages and you probably get them too, where it's like, Oh, look what so-and-so said about you or some, you know, somebody yeah. did a video about you. It's like, I don't even read them anymore. I certainly don't look at the video. I don't read the emails. Like I have no time to give that crap my energy. I'm busy on my own purpose. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. When, when you start caring more about what your goals and accomplishment and what you're trying to achieve in life. And, th and that's, I think something that that's been a, like a re recurring theme and on your, your YouTube channel is this idea of like going after like becoming better in, instead of, instead of chasing women, chasing excellence, like, like you say, and then, and then you don't have time for all the bullshit. And so you, you make the right the, the right calls when it comes to women in, in relationships, because you're, you're not faking anything. You don't have to pretend like how many days should I wait to text back because you're actually busy because you're actually doing stuff yeah. instead of, uh, instead of playing a stupid game. It sounds like you've read one of those books where it's like, you have to wait X number of days before you text them back. And I read one of those books a few years ago. I was going to do a book review and I'm like, I got nothing good to say about this. I'm just going to skip it. <laughs> yeah. I've gotten, I, I get all the time from, you know, from my community, from guys that are asking me like, you know, how, how long should I wait? And should I, should I buy dinner and all these questions? And my answer is always like, if you are working on developing yourself as a man and you're focused on your purpose and your mission in life, like you don't need to, ask me these questions because you'll just do whatever the fuck that you want to do Correct. and that will be the right answer because it's not what you do it's how you do it that matters and that always comes across like everyone always knows what you're if you're doing something because you're trying to please someone or if you're doing it because it's what you want 
Yeah, there's a certain art and zen to not giving a fuck. It's, um, you know, it's a bit of a skill that guys need to master. There's an entire chapter in my book about doing that.